guys, what's going on? Happy Tuesday, hope your week's off to a good start so far. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If it's not, then welcome back. Just wanted to pop on real quick to give a brief update on my running nutrition journey coming into the Celebration Half Marathon, which will be five days, actually um, four after today. So Sunday we'll be out there, uh, I'll be doing the half marathon. Uh, training has gone pretty decent for me. Um, it's the first time in about a year and a half, two years that I've actually gotten out there and followed a training program pretty much to the T. Um, whatever the mileage has been set for me, I've made sure to make the effort to get that mileage in, either going a little bit over or a little bit under due to going over the, the days prior. Uh, I've been pretty stoked with how this training cycle's gone. I'm pretty stoked for Sunday. Uh, I'm probably about as ready as I'm gonna be. And um, uh, let's see, nutrition-wise, I've kind of learned over the past six to seven weeks that for the half marathon that I typically do okay without taking nutrition with me. There should be water stops, of course, along the way. I think about every couple, two or three miles, I, th I think they should have a water stop. So push comes to shove and I need to stop. I, I've got a couple spots where I can get some water uh, along the course. Um, I've tried a couple goos along my training cycle. And whereas before I used to be able to do goos, but anytime I do a goo, it's weird within 20, 30 minutes, I really feel like I've got to stop off and hit the bathroom. It's it's the weirdest thing. So typically, if I do take nutrition with me, it's usually just a power bar or something like that. But here on the past couple of long runs, uh, I just tend to do overnight oats, a banana, maybe a bagel, or like uh, frozen waffles that I heat up or whatever. And that tends to get me through the uh, 13, well, I, the longest I've done has been about 11, but uh, I feel like if I just kind of, you know, make sure that I'm good to go before I go out and hit the, the, the race on Sunday, that I should be able to make it through the 13 without any major, taking in any major nutrition. Um, so I'm hopeful there. I feel like I'm ready. Uh, my knee's feeling pretty good. Uh, legs feel strong. I've been doing a lot of cross training with uh on the peloton app and doing stuff on the bike on my off days from running doing some strength training and some core so i feel good there uh weather for sunday i believe the last i checked on the weather channel app it was about 55 56 degrees at start which will be seven and then hopefully by the time that i'm done um i'm hoping to be wrapped up by about 9 30 uh maybe a little bit sooner we should be in the lower 60s to mid 60s. So um, I think for from a running standpoint, it's gonna be gorgeous weather. I think there's like a 30% chance of rain that day, but it's not till the afternoon. Uh, I've done one race there where it pretty much was a downpour the entire time from start to finish. I, th I think it rained all day. Um, this will be my third uh, time go doing the uh, celebration course. My first marathon was celebration, and ironically, that was my best time at about 4.30. I did a, the full again a couple years later, and it was a pretty humid day. I feel like it got to the 70s, low 80s, before I even got to the finish line, so that kind of took me out of it. I think it pushed me almost to a, about a five-hour finish time. So my goal ultimately is to just finish and finish healthy, finish strong. Time-wise, I'm gonna push for 220. If I can get around 210 to 215, that would be awesome. But uh, I think 220 to 230, uh, based on how my training's been going and keeping the paces that I've been keeping, 220, 230 should be a route about where I come in at. So, pretty stoked for Sunday. I got a couple beers that I'm gonna stock up in the cooler. Uh, I haven't really had to, to get the cooler out in, a, in quite a while, so I'll have the cooler um, with some chocolate milk, um, a couple beers, and any kind of other nutrition or food that I think I'm gonna need before or after the race. Um, 
like I said, I'm pretty familiar with the course. There's just one, I think, not even really a hill. It's just kind of an overpass that you go over, I think, in the first mile of the race. Everything else is pretty much flat. It's Florida, so there's not really uh, many hills here in Florida. So uh, it's a good course. It's fast. The only, I guess, potential issue I could see would be the boardwalk. If it's slick out, the boardwalk's kind of a pain to run on. I think uh, around mile six or seven, there's a wooden boardwalk that I think you run on for probably about a mile or two. And then coming back towards the, um, the finish of the half marathon, you turn right off the boardwalk and then go around to the to the village. And then if you're doing the full, I know you take a left and go back out and you pretty much repeat the same course. The full, the second part of the, the marathon tends to be a little bit more boring due to not as many people do the marathon as, a, as opposed to the half marathon. So, but the scenery is gorgeous. It's a, it's a nice area that you run through, uh, some really super nice houses. So Fortunately for me, I'm not gonna have to do the full. So just wanted to get started off on the half marathon to, to start this season off of running. And uh, pretty, like I said, pretty stoked and looking forward to Sunday. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get the, I think the RunJoy app has where you can uh, track people. I'll have that set up if, if anybody wants to track, but I think the only person that's gonna be doing that's probably my wife. So anyways, feeling good. Today I've got three miles to do uh tomorrow's a four mile run and then thursday will be three uh, another three mile run so i'm gonna take it relatively easy i may push a little bit harder today maybe try to get about a 25 minute 5k in uh and then tomorrow on thursday just kind of take it easy and just kind of coast into sunday we're heading over to packet pickup on friday night so um go over there get everything right pick up pick up everything over there and uh probably figure out a place to go eat and then just take it easy on Saturday and then Sunday uh, we'll be there bright and early. So um, I can't wait and I'm super excited. I'm just, like I said, happy to be back running and doing a actual timed race for once. I think it's been 2019, 2020 is the last time I did a, an actual race. So I'm pretty stoked and just happy to be out there. So. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.